Yeah, probably not a good idea. Let's just keep moving. Oh, shit. There's another Larry. You're going to probably hear me say, oh, shit, there's another Larry a million times in this playthrough. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to start a new insane hardcore series. So um, I just finished um, with a, a Wasteland survival series where we spent uh, 80, 80 episodes, I think it was, over the course of, I don't know, three, four months, something like that, uh, where we played uh, in the, the uh, a map that was almost entirely the Wasteland biome. I had a lot of fun with that. Um, that series is probably over. I haven't, you know, I've, I've saved the world. Uh, I still have it. It's possible I might do another episode or two on it, but but I'm pretty much at the point uh, where we have everything. We're all powerful. Zombies can't hurt us anymore for the most part. Uh, we've done all the tier fives and completed them and, um, you know, pretty much done everything there is to do in that series. So there's just not really a whole lot more um, that I feel like, you know, we need to, we can or should do in that series. So we're going to start a new series. And in this series, we're going to do something similar, except for this time, we are going to play on a map that is made up entirely of the snow biome. So this is going to be a snow biome survival series. Now, um, in the Wasteland Survival Series, I did have a green biome that I had to find, and it took us a long time to find it. Uh, in this series, I'm not doing a green biome, okay? It, it, what, I, what I am going to do, though, is I have, um, have a very small desert biome. The only purpose of that desert biome is for oil shale so i have a place that i can mine some oil shale because that was um that was a big challenge for us in the wasteland survival series we had no desert and therefore no access to oil shale so gasoline was kind of um kind of a pain in the butt to get you know i mean we were able to get it but we had to wrench a shitload of cars to get it so uh i am uh putting a uh, a desert biome um, in this map it's really small i mean tiny tiny small even smaller than way smaller than the green biome was in the wasteland biome but it does give us a place where we can get some oil shale when the time comes so that's the purpose of it um we're, in, in, in other words i'm not going to live there i'm not going to go into that biome build a base and live there like we did in the green biome so we are in fact with the one exception of you know, going to occasionally mine some oil shale. We're going to be in the snow the entire time. The other thing that we're going to do in this series is I'm going to disable right from the get-go. I'm going to disable the uh, buff, the weather immunity buff that the game gives new players until they hit level five or six or something like that. Um, just because I feel like, you know, one, one of the things... One of the biggest enemies in this playthrough is going to be the cult, the weather, and I think it's kind of cheaty for me to, you know, have five or six levels before that becomes an issue. It needs to be an issue right from the get-go because that's part of the challenge. Okay, so I know I'm crazy for, <laughs> for doing that, but we're going to disable it from the get-go and, you know, take the challenge head on. This is not a dead is dead series. I'm going to do everything in my power not to die, but we probably are going to die probably more than once. Um, but we will, you know, uh, we, we will definitely, you know, try our hardest uh, not to die. If if this was going to be a dead is dead series, it would be over very quick. <laughs> so um, now let's talk a little bit about the snow biome. Um, pros and cons. Pros, pff, there aren't any <laughs> that I can think of. I mean, we have an endless supply of water, okay, because we can you know dig snowballs and make water. Um, geez, that's about it, though. I, I mean, well, okay, so we we've got we've got good wildlife, all right, um, but we also have dangerous wildlife too. So um, we're gonna have to contend with mountain lions, and the thing about mountain lions in this game is that, uh, at least for me, they're really hard to see. I mean, and there's been more than one time when I've damn near stepped on top of them before I even knew they were there. Um, so, you know, for, so for as far as critters go, mountain lions are going to be um, be a problem. You know, they're gonna they're definitely gonna be something we're gonna have to watch out for. Uh, on the upside of that, though, uh, they're also a supply of meat. You know, so once we get to the point where we can, you know, start hunting. Um, we'll have meat plus there's you know plus there's rabbits i believe there's pigs and deer also in the snow biome so you know we're going to have plenty of game which is going to be good the worst worst part about the snow biome um in addition to the cold is larry the freaking lumberjack the frozen lumberjack zombie um in the vanilla game which this is I, i'm playing on a custom map 
I'll talk about that in a minute, but I'm not, but I'm still playing vanilla settings. Nothing's been adjusted from the settings themselves. Uh, so the problem with vanilla, in my opinion, and I've complained about this before in past uh, series, is that the damn lumberjack is just, he's all over the place. I mean, they just spawn too many of them in. So he's going to be a really, really big problem for us um, well, you know, uh, well into this series. So we're going to have to, you know, figure out what we can do, you know, to tr try and survive against him. Um, all right, so like I said, the map is an 8K map. It's generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Um, Terry Beer, uh, one of my viewers and friend of mine, um, actually made the map for me um, because he's you know he's pretty good at that, and I ha and he's the one that actually made the uh, desert biome for me, and and I asked him to make it very very small, so you know. Uh, we it's only there for us to get oil shale so he's created that so i really appreciate all the help he's given me kudos to terry for doing that uh, but it is otherwise yeah it's, it's a nitrogen generated map it's all snow biome uh, we have three mega cities and a few small towns um, so unlike the wasteland biome where we had only one mega city we have a lot more cities and towns but i did ask terry to make sure that my character spawns in the wilderness so our first uh, you know, our first goal is going to be to make it to some kind of a town. Now, when we get to a town, we're going to have places to loot, we're going to have shelter, but we're also going to have to contend with the zombies and the sleepers, you know, so we kind of, you know, out of the frying pan into the fire, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, that's what basically what we're about. Now, let's go ahead and start a new game here. And um, this is the Saved World, Old Guys Snow World. Inter uh, by the way, if you guys are interested at all in this, let me know. And uh, I can put it up on, on a Google Drive uh, if you guys want to play on the same world, too. Okay, we need to change the name, though. Uh, so this is going to be OG uh, Snow World. Well, we'll just call it SW. Yeah, what the hell? That's good enough. OG SW for, for Old Guys Snow, uh, Snow World, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's go to basic. I'm not going to change anything here. We're going to keep this on the same settings that we had on the Wasteland Survival Series. So notice that it is on a sane difficulty. I like to play uh, this game with 90 minute days, 18 uh, hours of, uh, of daylight. Uh, we're going to keep the Blood Moon every seven days. I have played around with that a little bit on some of the Dead is Dead series that we did. Uh, but for this playthrough, um, I'm just going to keep that on uh, every seven days. Uh, incidentally, I've never done this before. I've never tried to play on an all snow biome. So, um, yeah, it, it should be it should be pretty interesting. Uh, notice that everybody set to nightmare speed as usual for my playthroughs. Going to keep all the XP, XP multiplier, all that stuff on normal. All of this stuff is on... Uh, no, actually, I guess it's not all on normal. Uh, loot respawn is disabled. So basically, once I loot something, it is looted. And, and that's it. Um, we drop everything on death, and we have 32 uh, enemies uh, during the blood moon. I mostly keep that at 32 because if I set that up to 64, then it's just it can be really taxing on the computer. Um, so we'll keep that on 32. Um, airdrops will be every three days, but I don't know. I don't have the markers, so I have to go out into the wilderness and find those. So really, these are exact same settings, the exact same settings rather that we had in the wasteland series. All right, guys, this is it. Let's go ahead and start this sucker up and, <laughs> and get going. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. It's going to be, um, it's going to be nuts. So now I think we have, I think Terry put in four, maybe five traders uh, for me. And, and, you know, because we don't have a, a secret hidden Oasis green biome uh, in this playthrough, like we did in the wasteland, I'm, I'm not worried about, you know, knowing where the trader trader is. Um, and, and they should, I believe they're all out in the, in the wilderness anyways. They're not in the city, I, I believe. So, okay. Well, I'll see you when we uh, spawn into the game. Shouldn't, should only be a couple of moments here. All right, here we are. We're going to just cancel all of this crap. Uh, you know what? I think my gamma's set a little too high. Yeah, let's turn that way down. All right. Wasteland survival. So the very first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go into uh, the console here, and I've got uh, the command over here. I'm just going to copy and paste it. And that command is debuff buff newbie coat. And you'll notice, if you didn't notice, the, the little coat icon just disappeared, and we're going to start seeing frost around the edge of my screen any moment now. So, um, yep, there it is. 
<laughs> okay, so the cold is gonna be the cold is gonna be a big issue, you guys. Uh, in addition to Larry the lumberjack and the mountain lions, those are gonna be our 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 first three enemies. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with uh, the starter quest. I'm just gonna get rid of this crap here um, and get that out of the way so we can get our first uh, four points. All right, guys, <clears throat> I think we are ready to uh, start heading out. Took a little extra time and got some wood and um, didn't I make, I thought I made a total of 20 of those. Uh, oh, I did, Never mind. they're right here. Um, got a little extra wood, got a little extra stone. Now we wanna get the stone on our, our, to our toolbar so that we can use it to distract uh, Larry the Lumberjack. Okay, so let's put our, campfire down here and that uh, finishes our quest um, I'm also gonna get our torch out because that'll help keep us a, a little bit warm give us a little bit of warmth anyway uh, this torch is definitely gonna be important in the very early game here okay and then the trader is to the northwest and let's see if we can get a feel for where we're at okay we're we're pretty far south and we're pretty far east uh, we're very far to the southeast as a matter of fact so um yeah so if the traders to the northwest that's going to lead us um towards the the center of the map which is probably a good thing uh we do have a water tower over this way though so since we're in the uh you know the southeast let's kind of do a little bit of exploration whilst we're here uh, Larry's going to show up at any any moment now, so we're going to have to be on our guard for him. And oh yeah, we got to do that. We got to do our points. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So, oh boy, how are we going to do this? Uh, this is interesting. So, I'm I'm thinking it would probably be a good idea for us to do a fortitude centric build at least in the early part of this game because we've we'll have well insulated. A pain tolerance healing factor um, will most likely come across an AK first before any other gun that seems to be the norm here in Alpha 18. Um, and and just, you know, all of those, those uh, and maybe even Huntsman, I don't know, would be useful for us early on. The one thing I do want to do, though, is I want to take this one, this first point in From the Shadows, uh, just because, you know, that's going to help us be just a little bit you know more stealthy and hopefully Larry won't uh, uh, you know won't detect us as often uh, we're definitely going to you know put some stuff into strength eventually you know for mining and that sort of thing but I don't, I don't think that's the priority right now I think we definitely want well insulated uh, so this gives us uh, five insulation uh, against heat and cold so that's going to help let's see we have two more points probably I'm healing factor would probably not be a bad idea just because if we do start to get really cold um you know healing factor can you know maybe slow down our our, our health loss uh plus i want you know i want to get that more too i just i'm not 100 percent positive that that's our best bet right this you know this early on oh you know what we are going to want master chef i'm going to just take that now and be done with it that's going to let us make bacon and eggs and tea and that sort of thing um uh, what else what else perception you know it probably wouldn't be a bad idea we're gonna want you know put points to that eventually since we're gonna use spears early on probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and be beef that up just a little bit too i know my points are all over the place but you know i'm just trying to pick the skills that are going to do us the you know the most good this in this very very early playthrough so yeah, I think that's what we'll what we'll do. But I, but my at this point in time, unless you know I change my mind for whatever reason, I'm, this is going to be a fortitude, probably a fortitude focused build early on. Uh, I'll tell you what though, if you guys 
watched my um, my Wasteland Survival Series. We did an agility build uh, towards the end of that playthrough, and it was really powerful. And so, you know, I'll definitely be tempted to to go back to that. Uh, maybe a little bit later on, but I, I'm just I'm just not thinking the agility build is going to be the best bet for us in the very early game here. Okay, cool. So we have taken care of our points. So let's go ahead and start looking around. Now I saw uh, we have that that uh, water tower over that way. We got a cornfield, which is good. This is like really flat in through here too. Interesting. So let's go check this out. That's kind of an odd place for a cornfield to be. <laughs> Usually they're next to like barns and stuff. Sometimes these places can have, um, you know, Zika Ruskies. Oh, there's a deer. Okay. Oh, we need, you know what? We need, uh, we need a little uh, bone shift. We need a bone shift. S I didn't see any gut piles on the road. Okay. Probably should put that, at least that first point into archery too, because, you know, we're going to need to rely upon archery for hunting. Yeah, see, I got cold again after I took my torch. But between the torch and taking that first point and well insulated, I think that's going to go a long way in helping us against the cold here in the very early game. All right, where did that deer go? Oh, there it is right there. Okay. I only have four arrows. Um, you know what? We can make some more, though. If you don't know why I'm putting this on my, my toolbar, you'll find out as soon as we get chased. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, so... Let's see if we can kill... Oh, shit, there's a Larry. Damn it. I think he just spawned in. All right, well, if I if memory serves correctly, I think there's a sleeper maybe up... Oh, what am I doing? Up at the top of that water tower. I don't think there's really any reason for us to go uh, up there, so let's not. <laughs> let's just not do it. Uh, I wouldn't mind killing that deer, but there's a Larry right there, so... He is going to be a pain in the ass, that's for sure. He always is. I, I imagine we're going to run across uh, several more farms as we go along, but if for any reason we don't and then we get to the point where we need corn, we'll, we know we can come down here into the southeast to get it. The thing is, is I'm not going to, almost certainly not going to kill that deer in the first shot, and it's going to run right towards Larry. All right, well, let's just see what happens. Let's get a little closer here. We did take that one point. Oh, no, it's us. Awesome. I was just going to say, we did take that one point from the shadows, which might help, but we got a little too close. Well, no, it's coming back. Nope. There's a lot of drop on the on this wimpy primitive bow, especially when you have no skills in it. All right, we hit it, and as I was afraid, it's running towards Larry. I thought I might have just heard a mountain lion, too. We need to avoid those at all costs for now, not until we have a decent gun. Are we going to go after mountain lions? All right, well, this deer is not, uh, not really working out for us. He's too damn close to Larry, or she is. That's a doe. No horns on the head. <laughs> um, we could try and distract Larry with a stone throw, I guess. I would really like to have some meat. All right, let's see if we can get another hit. Okay, that's hit number two. Our our bow skills absolutely suck. <laughs> They're really bad. They're really bad right now. Ah, uh, that's to be expected. Okay, we got a bag over here in another <clears throat> bird's nest. Let's check that stuff out. All right, water's good. All right, let's get this out. Just to stay warm-ish. Did the deer just find us or see us? I think it did. Darn it. Got it. Okay, so we kill it in three shots. 
I was too far away from it to tell if I was getting any headshots off on it. Okay, we got a bear and a Larry. I don't want to attract the attention of either one of those guys. Okay, we need we need five bones to make a ship, right? Yeah, there we go. So we got 18 pieces of meat. That's three pieces of cooked meat. Um, or, more importantly, two bacon and eggs, because we have some, uh... Oh, shit, 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 shit. He's getting close. <laughs> I heard those footsteps coming. Okay, let's move away from these Larrys and this bear. If we get to the point where we are extremely cold, which could happen at nighttime... Of course, I'm not, I'm not sure how much that actually matters in this game. It probably doesn't matter the more I think about it. But anyway, whether it's nighttime or not, um, you know, we can all, we can, well, we can make a campfire, but that, you know, that still keeps us out in the open. But what we can do is we can burrow underground, because if you burrow underground far enough, uh, you get out of the, you know, the cold. So we have a couple of, you know, a couple of options for surviving if that happens. I'm pretty sure what I'm looking at out there is the is the water, the border water, but let's just confirm that for sure, and that way we can say that we've gone all the way to the southeast end of the map. There he goes. Took him a while, but he finally figured it out. Okay, let's uh, get a little bit of wood and see if we can find some honey in this stump. It feels kind of weird being back at the very beginning of the game again, and we don't have any of our guns or any of our skills, and we're, like, super vulnerable. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's repair that. This I might chuck if if we start to run out of space, because it's not a priority this early in the game. We'll see. I'm going to hang on to it for now, though. I hate throwing brass away in this game, but sometimes you just have to do it. Oh, Larry, go away. There's some coal. Okay, so it looks like we have indeed found the the extreme southeastern, well, s southern anyway, uh, border of the map here. All right, do we have six? We need one more egg, and then we can make uh, three bacon and eggs in total, which will be really good. Really good food for us very early on here. Yeah, that's uh that's the end of the end of the map down this way. Um and it kind of looks like if as I look to, you know, to the east that it starts to the coastline starts to curve up to the north. So yeah, we're very close to the southeast end of the map here. All right, well, I think guys, what we'll do is let's just go ahead and start working our way towards the trader. I mean, we might as well. There's no reason not to, right? And um do I have everything that I want on the toolbar? I think I do. Yeah. Good. Okay, so we have three bacon and eggs waiting for us for dinner tonight. Wherever wherever we end up, you know. It might very well be a hole in the ground. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. So we'll stick to this road for the moment. Because it is going in the direction of the trader, but... You know, as I see bird's nests and whatnot, uh, I will will grab those as we go. This road here will lead to a POI somewhere. Here's a rabbit. Let's make some more of these, too, while we're at it. I know um, that there is a mod uh, out. It's called uh, Winter Project, I believe. And it looks interesting. It's something I might even consider playing at some point. But I, I wanted to try... I wanted to try the Snow Biome playthrough on vanilla settings, though. No, not with a mod, so... That's why we're doing this on vanilla right now. Whoa. 
Okay, we got ourselves some rabbit meat for dinner too. Nice. Okay, so we have 28 pieces of meat. That is five bacon and eggs, assuming we can get two more eggs, which I'm sure we will at some point here. One uh, one advantage, actually, that, that you do have with the snow is you can see the bird's nest pretty easily. So there is that. There is that. We've got a car up here. You never know what you're going to find in a car. Sometimes you can find some pretty good stuff. No, honey. That is not a lootable car, so we're not really too worried about it. Okay, there's nine eggs. Sometimes in this game, when you're using the bow like this, you just, you hit damn near every time, and then other times it's like, no matter what you do, you just can't hit. <laughs> like now, for example. Okay. So let's just track this deer. Alright, that was hit number two. Oh shit, there's a Larry. Oh, this is leading to one of the cave thingam thingamadoodles. Alright, interesting. Probably not safe for us to go down in there. There's a mountain lion. Let's stay well away from that dude. Hey, where'd that deer go? When the time comes, though, you know, when we have a decent hunting rifle and whatever, uh, we are not going to have any problem finding meat. <laughs> that is a good thing about Snowbound. There's our deer over there. There's a car we can loot later. There we go. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. So we have 48 pieces of meat and nine eggs. So food is not going to be a problem for us. I don't think food's going to be a problem for us. Let's put this back here for now, but pull this guy back out. Now we're going to work our way towards that car and hit that stump along the way. You know what? I should be I should actually be destroying those birds nests cuz I'll get a couple extra feathers and they're not going to respawn anyway because we don't have respawning loot on, so we might as well just do it. And we get a little extra XP too. I'm not going to retrace my steps for the other ones. We'll just start doing it moving forward. Let's hit this stump, see if we can find ourselves some honey. I would really like to get a jar of honey. There's our tenth egg. Sweet. Five bacon and eggs. Oh shit, there's Larry right there. He's a little close. Let's see if we can get him to bugger off the other way. Okay, there he goes. Making sure there aren't any other Larrys right behind us. Okay, come on, honey. Oh, there's another Larry right there. Dog, gone it. He's all over the place. All right, screw that. Forget that stupid version. Of this. Let's just go. Okay, so we've got a box, a car, and there's probably going to be like a purse and maybe a duffel bag or something around here too. But we do need to be careful because... Uh, the Z's can hear you open a car from fairly far away. And we don't want that to happen. I think he's... Shit, is he far enough away for us to open this car? Let's check this stuff first. Alright, well, we got 17 7.62s. We'll definitely hang on to those and use them later when the time comes. I think I'm far enough away to loot this car. Well, shit. Let's... I don't know. I, I probably am, but I just don't want to get chased right now. 
That distracted the wrong Larry. No, don't go that way, you dummy. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think they're distracted enough for us to try to open this up. Hopefully there isn't another one, like, on the other side of that hill. Okay, well, those will come in handy later on. Let's check this box. Some 9 mils. Also going to come in handy later on. Alright, so, let's take a look. This is... This is a little mining POI, and it is not very safe to be in for us. Sometimes there's a sleeper right down there, too. I don't, I don't think we're really prepared to go into a place like this. I mean, I know the zombies will be, you know, low level, but... Yeah, probably not a good idea. Let's just keep moving. Oh, shit. There's another Larry. You guys are going to probably hear me say, Oh shit, there's another Larry a million times in this playthrough. <laughs> That's going to happen. What do we have here? A big lake? Or is this just part of the... Yeah, this must be a big lake. Wow. It's almost like... Uh, I wonder if this is like a peninsula or something and this is a bay. It could it could be, but I don't know. I think I do see a horizon over there. All right, guys. Well, I think it's time for us to wrap up this first episode. Uh, we were definitely successful in staying alive <laughs> um, so far, you know, so far. And um, so I'm basically just going to pick up right from here in the next episode. Um, and go from there and you know we're, we're gonna keep you know working our way mostly towards the trader that's kind of our overall our overriding goal um, but if i notice that the cold starts to become a major problem at night we probably we might end up actually burrowing down underground so we'll just have to see how that goes but anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next frozen episode Bye bye